But today I want to talk about lug nuts. Um, really stupid topic and a little bit overseen by a lot of people in the car community. But it's very, very important to get the right lug nuts for your car. Especially if you're going to run expensive wheels. Um, I prefer Volk Racing wheels and I've always had Volk Racing wheels. A lot of people buy wheels and they don't, they don't really use the right lug nuts for them. So I've seen many cases where people buy aftermarket wheels and they put the factory lugs back onto the wheels and that's the wrong way to do it one because every wheel is designed differently and the seat of each lug hole is designed different than what the factory is so uh let me give you an example all right so i just compiled a bunch of random lug nuts to talk about this real quick so this is a factory toyota slash lexus lug nut for the most part this is what they're using nowadays. It's kind of like a like a washer and this extra piece, this round piece right here on the bottom actually aligns the wheels. So when you put all five of them together, it'll guarantee that you'll always have um, the wheels perfectly centered. They come with this washer part of it to make sure it's completely seated flat. This is an aftermarket Bobo brand, uh, what do you call it? like acorn as they call it an acorn lug like every single one of these grooves are the same uh, measurement on each so it's really easy to find a, a lock like this like i wouldn't even consider this a lock nut but you can see this is very standard it just you tighten it and then it sits like right here uh, seats on the the wheel and it holds it in place this has a lot of working factors now you can't use you can't use this toyota one on a standard aftermarket rim because this washer piece is gonna get in the way. You would have to get aftermarket lugs to clear it. So that's why they're usually a little skinnier, a little smaller. The width of the lug is one thing, but another thing is the seat of the lug. So we already know and talked about this being designed specifically for Toyota alloy wheels, um, but this is just an aftermarket lug that you can buy. As you can see very closely, let me zoom in if I can. This is really rounded for the most part. You see how round it is? compared to this being kind of more um, diagonal. Diagonal, some seats on the aftermarket wheels are diagonal and very, very little are round. Most of the time, if you look at like OEM wheels, like on the S2000, like where I'm making this video on, the, the seat of that is kind of round. See that? It has a curve on it. So this, even though it's an aftermarket lock, would work well with a OEM wheel. Um, because putting a round one on a wheel that has a diagonal seat will g make it like almost, I would say like 90% secure and could be prone to uh, coming off. But I mean, that's a lot of factors. That's if you're racing and drag racing and going high speeds. But usually daily driving, if this is torqued enough, you should be safe. But if you're going to put it on like some Volk wheels, some expensive Volk wheels, you can't use a round one because Volk usually design theirs to be diagonal right so diagonal yes this would be ideal but you can't use it because of this washer right so what's the next thing you do you find a lug nut small enough that is diagonal like like this to fit now this would this is just an adapter bolt but i've seen um people use this to to tighten the wheels and this is not the right way to go um i'm just using an example but don't use this for your wheels because one if you actually look it's kind of too fat it, it, this was designed for the adapter not for the lug or for the the wheels so this is why i brought this here this is a project kick uh lug nut this is an extended one so it's a little bit longer but it has this nice little gold piece right here okay so let me zoom out it has this nice gold piece right here and this is a floating washer it actually spins if you see me holding it it spins so when this gets bolted onto the aftermarket wheel, it sits and when you tighten the lug, it stays in place and this prevents the lug from scratching the crap and eating away the material of your wheels, your expensive wheels. So this gets seated onto the wheel and you tighten it, you tighten it, you tighten it. And then when it gets to the torque spec, um, around 85, 90, you torque it a little more, that's it. It sits in there. And, and because of the, the tightness of it, it's gonna compress this washer to the wheel and then compress the washer into the lug. And you have a nice uniform uh, seating lug nut. 
as opposed to using just this. Um, although this is very, very close, you can see that this one is slightly taller and that can give you issues because this might not be identical in terms of um, measurement. So let's say this is probably like what, uh, a 55 degree um, angle. This is probably like, um, I would say probably like a 60 degree angle. So that five degrees difference will pretty much, I don't know, it's hard to explain it, but you get the idea. You wanna get the right lugs for the right wheels. Um, and in my case, I run Volk wheels and I use these Neochrome ones or these Project Kick ones because of the floating washer. I probably spent too long talking about it, but I just wanna give you guys a road course, a quick road course on lug nuts and find the right one for the car. The ones on my car now aren't, aren't mine. They're actually the acorn shape that I was explaining. Um, they are cone shape, which is okay for it. But when I, when I take the wheels off, and I, and I tighten them back up, it makes like this like scraping noise and it bothers me because I don't want to damage the wheels. And if I do get other wheels in the future, same thing, I don't want to damage them using the same lug. So my buddies at Velocity Shop actually hooked me up with these Project Kick lugs. They are the shorty ones. I had the shorty ones for my S2000, but I sold that to my brother because his uh, Corolla actually used the same lug pitch. Yeah, so it was like, uh, like 1.5 or something like that. This is 1.25. Um, so the thread pitch is a lot finer or closer together if that makes sense So right there on the on, on top of the barcode, it'll tell you, you know um, 1.25 I wasn't gonna make this video, but uh, I did buy this yesterday at my buddy's shop And I figured it was time to actually put them on uh, on top of that the wheels do need a little bit of cleaning So uh, maybe I might be able to do that get the acorn lugs on there So those are gonna have to come off. I'm gonna clean those up put them aside for my buddy those belong to my buddy and uh, clean a little bit of the barrel because it's kind of a pain to clean the barrels when they're on the car but if I'm gonna take the wheels off anyway uh, this would be a great opportunity to just wipe it down with a little bit of degreaser and some cleaner and it should be good to go There they go. Looking good. So you're probably wondering why there's like a black cap on it. So this is how they usually come. Straight out the box. So this is how they look like out of the box. Um, open ended. Problem is a lot of lugs, they're not they're not like designed to be like exposed to the elements. So they tend to rust out. So if you can see some of the orange rust in there. This is an older one from my Lexus. It was rusting out pretty bad. And it kind of sucked in a lot of ways, but I found the solution by buying these plastic caps right here. And all I did was just hammer it in lightly and it went right in. So you can see the difference. This is definitely going to uh, limit the amount of moisture coming in and causing rust. Whereas this being open ended would be an issue uh, long term. I'm going to go ahead and check on Amazon and see which one it was. And I'm going to link it below if you guys want to buy it for your own lug nuts. Um, just be mindful sometimes it might not fit every single lug. It just happened to fit the project kicks I'm just glad to get the lugs on and it looking it's looking pretty good it's pretty hot in here today But uh, next thing I gotta do is some motor work uh, The car does have some issues that I have to address even now and um, Probably gonna do that for another video, but I just want to do a little small informative quick video on The lugs and what you should use. I'm pretty sure I did this video before in the past with my Lexus. Me gaining more knowledge on the caps and preventing the rust actually uh, kind of motivated me today to make this video on top of now adding another modification to the car. So again, um, slow, slow progress on the skyline. But if you guys are really enjoying this video, please, 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 please hit the like, leave a comment. It really helps out a lot. And um, subscribe if you're a new time viewer, if you're interested in all the stuff that I'm doing and want to learn in the process. Uh, more than welcome to join with me until then i'll see you guys on the next video where we jump into the engine 
and start doing some tweaking to make it run a little better. So, see you in the next video. Peace.